Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in, in this video, I'm going to turn on SCCM site backup. So as you can see here, um, I have a new SCCM site server and S SMS site backup has not been enabled. So what you need to do is click on the administration and then you want to click on site configuration and under site configuration, you want to click on sites. Once you're in site, you want to click on the top ribbon here, say site maintenance. You get this, all these uh, tasks here. The first one is backup site servers. So you want to highlight it and then click on edit. So as you can see, um, I'm going to check the box to enable SCCM backup. Set path. You can set the, the drive ladder path or you can set the UNC path. I'm going to set the UNC path, which is going to be, I'm going to put it, let's see, I'm going to put it under, I'm going to call this SCCM backup. So I'm going to put it here, copy this path. It's going to back up to my domain controller server. I'm going to paste it here. You can configure the schedule to run at two o'clock from two to five every day. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to enable every day. This is for my test environment only. Um, but in the real world, you probably want to do at least, um, I would say every other day. So this is for testing. I'm just going to enable every day. You want to enable the alert <clears throat> for backup failures. So that means it's going to tell you when SSM backup is failing. And the time is correct. I'm just going to take as a default. Once um, you click apply, it's going to start the backup at two o'clock between two and five a.m. in the morning. I'm going to click OK and click OK again. That's it. So as you can see, um, probably by tomorrow morning, it's going to I'm going to see some data here. But if you want to initiate a backup, you can go into um, services and initiate a backup. So let's go to tools, services. And you want to look for SCCM, SMS site backup. I'm going to right click and then start backup. This is how you initiate a manual backup. And if you look in the um, folder here, as you can see, it's created a folder and it's going to take some time to um, to finish the backup so that's it that's an overview of SCCM backup how to enable it automatically and then how to manually initiate a backup so always initiate a backup when you before you do any uh, SCCM site upgrade or anything like that you want to start a SCCM backup Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.